Well, we certainly haven't uh, had the rub of the green, if that's the way you want to put it. We've had big decisions go against us in crucial parts of the game, really. Um, you know, so, uh, you know, uh, we're, that's... The VAR comes into the equation, you know, we're supposed to be, to get back into the game, you know, you're not supposed to be offside by a, a toenail or whatever it's supposed to be. We didn't see any of that in the Euros, and that's what we're supposed to be copying. If the lines aren't by the side of each other, I don't know what is. If there's, It really is frustrating. And then the penalty is another one where nobody in the ground knew it was handball. Even the referee didn't think it was handball, otherwise he would have seen it, and he was five yards away from it. So I feel a bit aggrieved because we're talking about VAR again, which is, uh, which is disappointing. Is it because there isn't maybe the consistency that you yes, feel correct. there should be? Well, last week we didn't see any lines drawn. You know, the, that wasn't supposed to be. It was supposed to be bearing on the mind of the, the forward player that that was it. Then all of a sudden we're drawn lines with armpits again, so I believe. Um, and then the penalty decision, Jamal's got his foot above his head, you know, to try and block the ball. So to do that, you've got to put your arm up. It's simply, to get your, high, your foot up that high, you cannot keep your, your arms by your side. It's impossible. So it, we feel as if we're harshly done by, because they're big moments, key decisions, which change the game.